Hey, hey, this is Coast Channel, and welcome to the first video of today. Now, the second video is the official channel trailer, which will be coming afterwards. But I've got this brand new news update that came up. So I was looking on the website for Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and they've revealed the times and prices for WoW Weekends 2019. So this is uh, running from the 16th of February to the 31st of March, uh, from 11 till 5. That's sort of the ride operating times. Um, this is an event I've been wanting to go to for so long. I've been really wanting, I've been praying to go to Blackpool for the opening day of the season. Um, it's on a weekend, so it's away from uni, so I would love to do it this year. Not sure though, uh, but I w if it was up to me, I'd love to. Um, now, from the official website, it says that all wristbands will be £19.50 per person. Uh, per day for every Saturday and Sunday from Saturday the 16th of February or until 31st of March. Uh, so I'm guessing that's sort of an online booking because it says down here half price base um, on adult gate price wristband of £39 um, so sort of around that time uh, opening weekends until only weekends until 31st of March uh, and the Pleasure Beach is then open from the 1st, 1st of April until 3rd of November for the regular theme park season so Again, I would love to get that down there for the for, for the opening day of the UK theme park season on the 16th of February, but 50-50 um, at the minute. I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of other YouTubers there. Um, they're probably going to be, you know, either going there on the day or just staying overnight in Blackpool. I mean, Blackpool is like the opening place for the theme park YouTubers in the UK theme park season. Every, literally every YouTuber will go to Blackpool. Uh, from the UK to do vlogs from Blackpool Pleasure Beach on the open day of the season. Everyone will go there. Um, and it's sort of the gathering of, of, of vloggers and YouTubers um, to sort of kickstart the season in the theme park industry. Um, obviously Blackpool's sort of upgraded, so you've got, you've got, the, you've got your classic rides like the Grand National, the Big Dipper, uh, the big one, obviously used to be known as the Pepsi Max big one. Um, and now you've obviously got rides like Icon, Valhalla, you know, Valhalla is one of my favourite water rides and dart rides of all time. Icon, I haven't done that yet, so I'd love to I'd love to get out there on the first day of the season and just try and get on the first train of Icon um, for my first ever ride. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be nice to go to Blackpool on the 16th of February uh, for the opening day of the season, because it, it's... I've been wanting to go on the opening day of the season for a good couple of years now. I went to Blackpool uh, on a camping trip in Blackpool uh, for a few days uh, back in 2016. Yeah, it was 2016 because that was the opening year of the original Darren Brown's Ghost Show at Thorpe Park and I didn't get out there until the year after it opened when the changes were made for Rise of the Demon. So between the construction and the opening of the Rise of the Demon version, sort of in between I went in that year. Um, it was raining the first day, so I managed to get a rainy day guarantee, so just showed my wristbands, got it for free on the second day, managed to do a big one. Um, but yeah, um, I did loads of brilliant rides, Ice Blast was great, Valhalla was just, oh, beautiful, it was like, what, it was like, it was like, you know those really beautiful looking weddings outside when you got like the nice decorations and the, the flamboyancy, Valhalla was beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful ride. Um, I do have an on-ride photo from that, but I have no idea where it's gone. Um, <laughs> um, Pepsi Max Big One was good. It was a it's a nice hyper coaster. Obviously, it's not the best coaster in the UK, but it's still good for it's still good for the UK because it's a very iconic coaster. Uh, Grand National, yeah, a little bit. Big Dipper was good. Nick Street was brilliant. Uh, I can talk about all the rides at Blackpool uh, and say they're all, or either all between all rides and brilliant. There was no ride that was sort of yeah, don't like it. Uh, I managed to get on the Wild Mouse a couple of seasons before it was demolished without any notice. So, so good to get that classic credit in. I love the Wild Mouse. I didn't think anything was wrong with the ride experience because it was so... Um, it was soft, in my opinion. For uh, Obviously, it had those aggressive turns, but in my opinion, it was one of the smoother, older coasters. Um, so, I saw, that's what I sort of felt about with, uh, with Wild Mouse. Um, so... Yeah, honestly, I, 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 obviously it'd be fantastic to get out to Blackpool's opening day on the 16th of February on Saturday, but obviously it's not as simple as that because you've got to think about travelling to Blackpool, getting an accommodation, you've got to think about all those things. 
so obviously it's a bit complicated so I'm not sure I'll be able to get out there this year on the 16th of February but if I do then I'll give you an update on the channel if I am which I'd love to if it was up to me but I don't know um, it depends on other things as well because I've got loads of work to do so um, it depends whether I've got the time and obviously um, it all depends to be fair um, but Blackpool is a fantastic park. I'm sure I'll try and get out there at some point in the future, in the near future. Because um, I haven't done Icon yet, so I need to get that ride done. Uh, I haven't done Impossible. I know I'm not missing much because it's a, it's literally an old haunted swing and the mirror maze combined together. So I'm not really missing much. But obviously you've got to do these classic attractions. Judge them for yourself. Everyone says get rid of Impossible, clear it, gone. Belladrome. It's, fa it's facade's got a steel frame up. At first, I thought at first I was t gave, given the impression it was uh, given a steel frame in front because they were sort of removing the facade and building a new one because that facade had structural problems and uh, didn't stable right. Um, but many people are now saying the facade's being removed because they're gonna um, border it up. Uh, or they're just gonna open the arcade throughout 2019 and then uh, close it all down. I don't know. I mean, there's a, a, a co well a couple of years ago there was a read um, there was a rumored redevelopment of that area around Wild Mouse, Trauma Towers, Impossible, Velodrome, around that area in the next few years. So we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, but that's sort of the dates and times then for the Wild Weekend 2019 at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. If you want to check out more on the Blackpool Pleasure Beach website, including details of how you can get your season pass and platinum pass, I personally won't be getting them because. Personally, I think they're a waste of money. Um, but if you want, if you want to, if you're a massive fan of Blackpool and not other other parks, or you like other parts, but you prefer Blackpool, like, I want to go all year, and maybe I can get a combo park deal. Go and check out the website. I put it in the description of the video. Make sure you get your platinum pass and your seat or your season pass, or even both if you wanted to. You can get a season pass and the platinum pass. Um, there are different terms and conditions with the passes. I know that one of them includes two free visits to theme parks in Spain, Isla Magica and Porta Ventura Park, not Ferrari Land, but Porta Ventura Park, so you can experience Shambhala for free, uh, Dragon Khan for free, Stampeda for free, I mean, those Stampeda's probably not that much, um, but definitely you can definitely do Shambhala for free, and Hurricane, Hurricane Condor, one of the best drop towers in my opinion, um, from what I've seen from reviews. Is that going to top my favourite drop tower? My favourite drop tower at the minute is Apocalypse at Drayton Manor. Hmm, <laughs> weird. Um, so, yeah, so if you want to experience Port Adventure free or Isla Magica, then go make sure you check the li uh, link in the description down below, the Black Proposal Week website, and get your season pass and your platinum pass. But for now, my name is Kirsty Chow. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you for watching. Keep living the curse off my dudes, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have an awesome day. Please stand clear. The gates are about to close. Your ride on Colossus is about to begin. Keep your arms inside the train, your feet on the floor, and brace yourselves at all times. Keep your arms inside the train, your feet on the floor, and brace yourselves at all times.